Hello everyone! Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah and Oscar. Hey sweet boy! Oh he's purring. I know it doesn't pick it up but he is purring so loud. He's happy he's getting his chin scratchings. But uh, I figured I'd get him in here early before he went off and took a nap someplace. Right? Because it's nap time probably. It's always nap time. He's cat. Okay go on. Go be good boy. This has been an insane week. There has been a 16 hour work day and a couple of 14 hour work days. Not a lot else has gotten done. And there are some crazy things going on in this room and in the living room and everything right now. Yeah. I think I told you I got a new bed. I'm downsizing my bed to a full size from a king because the hubby has his own room because you know we, we snore and there are CPAPs involved. It's just you know Look, we've been married for well over 20 years. We realize we both sleep a lot better if we don't sleep in the same room. Hey, we stay happy, right? It works. A lot of people think, oh, that's so weird. No, it works. And he's downsizing his bed because we, we each had a king size bed. And you know what? I said, let's just downsize. We both need new mattresses anyway. So why not go smaller? I still like having a full size bed. In here we do need a bed with you know room for two people hello um but he likes a smaller bed for himself and so he wanted to go down to a twin it's great it's all fine and good um prime day he managed to find the bed that he wanted so the bed and the mattress are coming in my bed and mattress are here i have my mattress oh they delivered in a box i talked about this last week and it's heavy okay it is heavy af right now I, what I did was I put it on top of my other mattress and opened it up and I've been sleeping on it. So I have to climb up to the top of my bed. Like I said, it's been crazy because there has to be some rearranging done and some a place to put the old mattress and stuff. So we don't have a truck. <laughs> you know, we live in the country, but we are not truck people, so we don't have a truck. So we are hiring somebody with a truck and a trailer to come and get both of the king size mattresses, all of the box springs, the bed, anything to do with the king size is going. Plus some other stuff that we're going to get rid of too, because if there's room on the truck and we got stuff to throw away that we, don't, we can't deal with, it's going. You just hire somebody, you deal with it, you suck it up. It's a one-time thing. But also, but wait, there's more. I told you it was Prime Day for Amazon, so I decided to order something else. Um, the office chair that I've been using, because I've been working at home now for over two years, you know, ever since COVID came around and we got to work from home and they decided that our part, department could be permanently at home. And I was like, yes, yes. Anyway, the office chair that I've been using is over 20 years old. Uh, we got the, those office chairs when the hubby and I first got together. And, you know, the stress for it of, of schlepping my lard butt around constantly for the past two years and before that still use it a good bit it squeaks and it's not really comfortable anymore you know they were office depot chairs so i decided to get myself another chair i ordered one the box is sitting right over there it is huge well okay i ordered one and i made sure that it was for a higher weight class than i am so that it'd be more sturdy it'll last longer okay it's a steel frame but you got to put it together and of course when it came our usual delivery person was not on duty it was just you know a sub that comes and runs the route there are two houses on this little dr the driveway that leads into the property which is our house and the in-laws and they put it up there yeah so we drove up there last night and i schlepped it into the trunk or just sitting in the trunk we drove it down here and then I schlepped it in the house and it will get put together this weekend. Also getting put together this weekend is my bed frame. So in order to have room for everything and be able to function, because you know, when you move a bed out of the way, you, you do want to clean under it. There's places you really can't get to real well and stuff. So I'm going to be propping stuff up against the wall and big, have you ever tried to move a king size mattress? I'm dreading it. I really am. This is the time when I wish I could just hire somebody to come in and do that 
because it's heavy and it's awkward and it's so much work, but it needs to be done. The problem is we're doing both bedrooms at once. That should be interesting. We're going to be like schlepping stuff into the living room and <sighs> yeah. Yeah. So that has been my week. <sighs> but it wasn't bad. It's just crazy. Went to the foot doctor again. Basically every 61 days I go back to my podiatrist because that's what the insurance will allow with diabetic foot care stuff because I keep getting extremely thick calluses on a couple of my toes because, you know, I'm kind of funky that way. And he's taken off the callus again. And of course, there's an ulcer under there. Just a, It's very light. It's not like, oh gosh, you're going to lose a toe ulcer. It's, you got to watch this. And he's like, you really need to wear shoes inside the house. I'm like, no, no. The only time I have something on my feet in the house is when it's really cold. But he's like, you really need to do that because you need to protect your feet, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> yes, it's that boring. I mean, he's right. But I know why I get that. I realized the way I was sitting today at my desk, I kind of, I prop my leg on one toe. It's, I sit weird. I bounce. I'm never still. But my left leg takes the brunt of it. And that's the toe that has the worst problem. So there's that. That was yesterday. But some other interesting things happened too. Um, last weekend, after I recorded my video, I got this. What is this, you ask? A friend of mine who is very crafty and very creative and has way too much stuff has been trying to give stuff to me. This is stuff that I will likely not really be able to use. Sorry, totally out of frame. It is a whole bunch of thread and thin, thin yarn. And it's pretty vintage as well. Um, here is some Red Heart ba Soft Spun Baby Yarn. Okay, does it even say what the thickness is? It says it's three ply. I'm pretty sure that's like a sport weight, like a, like a number two, maybe a light two. That's the thickest yarn in there. And then there's actual honest to goodness thread. There's a bunch of it. There's a lot of it. There's cute, there's like baby colors, you know, in the, in the yarn part. And then the thread, there's white, black, peach, a blue variegated. Kind of cool. It's got other like thread wrapped around it. Some still in plastic packages. Some has been opened up and used a little. There's also some pink. But basically, look at that. This will probably end up being giveaway. Not right now. There's not a giveaway right now. No. I still owe some packages to a couple of people. It's been a crazy week. I will let you know when it gets sent. Stuff for my birthday giveaway. Uh, we had some email cross issues. <laughs> Someone forgot a letter in my name and was emailing the wrong person. And yeah, kind of crazy. But that will get taken care of this week. And I think I may have a redraw to do. But I'm going to have to check on it. Sorry, the yawns are real. Okay, there's not been a lot of sleep. But I did purchase things too. Because of course I did. Last night, the hubby and I decided, you know, I only worked um, until three yesterday. So it was a short day because I had my appointment and the appointment was quick and then we're done and yay, let's go someplace. We decided to go down to the Commerce area, Banks Crossing Commerce. It's in Georgia. Um, it's where we go to the big city. I'm kidding. It's not a big city, but it's very busy there. It's very touristy. There are um, outlet malls there. But there is a Korean place. It's really good. It's expensive, but it's good. And, oh, we had the most wonderful food. We ordered too much because we were hungry. By the time we got there, we were hangry, okay? I We had originally decided to go to Sunny's Barbecue, which is, a, like, I think it's more a regional chain barbecue. I, it's nostalgic for me. Uh, they started in Florida. My mom would take me there about once every two or three weeks. 
she would get an evening off and we would do that instead of me cooking. And I love it. I love the sliced pork. That's like my favorite. But they were just full. Like, okay, forget that. We'll go to Outback. Outback. You couldn't even get in the parking lot. I don't know what they were giving away at Outback, but yeah. We hadn't been out back in forever, so we didn't go last night either. And at this point, I'm like, just go to McDonald's. I was hangry. Okay, when I, yeah, it's bad. When I get hangry, it's bad. I said, or if we can't decide where we're going, stop at a convenience store and I need a beverage. <laughs> so we're like, well, he's like, and it's kind of like the Outback is kind of behind and down a little back road of the, the main shopping center there. And the main shopping center was at Korean Place. We pulled up. Let's go here. Okay. Go in. Oh, it was so good. Oh my gosh. I got a uh, pork tonkatsu dish that comes with the tonkatsu, which is like super crispy, like a, a pounded out um, cutlet. And wonderful, crispy, but the meat is just tender and juicy inside. And they serve it with a sauce that they use for the tonkatsu. Delicious. I love it. And you get like a little coleslaw kind of salad. And uh, you, of course, get the banchan when you order, when you go to Korea place. And you have rice too. Uh, but the banchan, which is stuff that goes with rice, yes, their kimchi was yummy. It wasn't overly spicy. It was just delicious with the spice. And they had like a pickled spicy cabbage as well that wasn't kimchi, just a different kind of cabbage. And uh, they also had uh, tofu skins and fish cakes, which... I love those. There wasn't much I didn't like. I mean, let's be real. Um, we also ordered uh, mandu, gun mandu, which is fried dumplings. Yum. We shared those. And we ordered, um, and I forget the Korean name for it, but it's a pancake. And don't, don't think breakfast pancakes, y'all. Don't think breakfast pancakes. It's a savory pancake. And it had seafood in it and green onions. Oh, yum. Mm-hmm. And the hubby ordered some uh, bulgogi. He ordered like a bulgogi plate, which is uh, uh, beef that is marinated with with a sort of a, a sweet savory sauce. Just yum. And we were really surprised. We hadn't been there in a long time because a lot of places we just don't get to. And we realized, yeah, this place, it is mostly for Korean people. We looked around and everybody that was in there was a table full of like Korean students and a Korean family came in and they had a big old table. And then on like the other side, they, they put the, the people who, you know, think that all Asian food is the same, I guess. You know, it's like white people. Uh, we ended up sitting in, in the Korean section, I guess. I guess. That's where one lady led, led the hubby when we went in there. And the main lady, I think she's an owner slash runs the place slash does everything. Um, we were eating and, you know, we knew what to do with the food and everything. She's like, you're really good with chopsticks. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I even use them at home sometimes. I have my own set. So, oh, really? Yeah. We know what food's all about. Okay. Anyway, it was delicious. It was so good. So that was like, ha, ah, hangry is gone. I'm happy. Yum. We left there and went to Walmart. There's a Walmart down in that town. It's not the usual Walmart we go to. So we decided we'll go there and we'll get a little walk around. We only had like four things that we needed to buy. I needed to buy my generic Zyrtec, which I bought and then I forgot to take last night. It's allergy medicine. Um, needed to buy borax uh, for adding to the laundry. Um, needed to buy some coffee creamer and I don't even remember what the fourth thing was that we actually needed, but you know, we left there spending $200. Now, mind you, the Zyrtec that I buy, I buy the two pack of it and it's, and it's like 30 bucks. So that's like one chunk of it. I've uh, got the hubby some new pillows because I already bought some new pillows when I got my bed. Got him a couple of new pillows, a couple of the nicer ones and a few other things, a few other things. One of the few other things that I got was this. It's a huge mouse pad. I'll finally take it out of the sleeve. They're marked down to $5. They were $10. At $10 I won't buy it. At $5 I will. And I just thought it was pretty and colorful. And I've got a big old desk. And I just like that. 
And that way the whole thing is kind of a mouse pad and it's colorful and it's kind of rainbowy. And I thought that was cool. Okay. Something else I got because I mean, I spent quite a long time in the school supply section because I'm kind of a school supply nerd. Yeah, I am. More scissors. <laughs> Four more pair of scissors. These are the ones that have the little cap on them that's an eraser. Um, but this way, you shove these in a project bag, they're not poking through anything. Or you put them in your no sense pouch, they're not poking through anything. I love these. I have a bunch of pink ones. I have these red ones now. They go into project bags so that there's always a pair of scissors handy everywhere. Let me set these down. Oh, something else that I got um, from Amazon. There's more Amazon stuff coming. I ordered myself a set of Clover Amore hooks. They're not here yet. So that's pretty cool. Um, I ordered one of these. What do they call it? Yarn dispenser. That. I didn't take it out of the box. I handed Hubby the box and said, open this for me. Get it, get it open. You put the, the yarn on there so you can pull from the outside of the skein and not have to deal with yarn bar from trying to pull from the middle. So I got that. It's got little rubber feet to put on it. Bloop. It was really cheap. And yes, it's probably really cheap. Who knows how long it'll last. Oh, and this part comes off. So I think it was sent kind of like this. It was in a very small box. But yeah, it's called Yarn Valet. That's what's imprinted on it. I thought that was kind of cool. I decided I had to have one. It had been on my wish list for a while. And I just finally said, you know what? I'm buying it. Prime day for me. For me. So there's that. I also ordered some stuff from Wish. And Wish, of course, takes forever to get to you. But like a month or two. And this, I think, got kind of smushed probably in my car because we checked the mail on the way out one day and it ended up on the floor it was in it was wrapped up nicely but it's more yarn needles big yarn needles because we all need yarn needles to even ends i have found that i prefer the metal ones um i have plastic ones and i just found the metal ones for me work better and that's just trial and error thing personal preference i also decided to get if you can see them through this package a couple of the bent in ones. I figured, what the heck? I'll give them a shot. Let's see if I like them. I have not opened those yet to try them. I haven't had a lot of time to crochet either. I have crocheted every day, but not much. I got a bunch more of these stitch markers. I might include some, like if I do giveaways and stuff. These Because this is just your basic, and if you lose one or if the cat knocks it to the floor, you're not going to cry because El Cheapo stitch markers, but they work, right? And then this whole order that I got from Wish, including this, which I'm about to show you, I think was less than $15 with shipping. So yeah, these are a bag of little clippy doos I don't know if you can see that. Like the bottom is flat and then the top has a curve to it. The bottom is clear. The top has a color. You can kind of like if you're trying to, to piece together when you're making a top or something and that's got multiple pieces, clips are handy AF because they hold it a little more tightly than just using stitch markers to hold them together. And it's just a little more solid and they're really inexpensive. So I thought I'd get some, you know, as one does, as I do apparently. And of course I have a bunch of this type of little box to put this, these things into so that I don't end up dropping them all over the floor. Uh, but while at Walmart last night, as I was heading towards the school supply section, because I'm a school supply nerd, first I came across some Crayolas that I didn't have yet, which is rare. I had never seen these. Bold and bright construction paper crayons. I haven't even opened these. Let's see. They still smell like Crayola, but they do have a slightly different scent to them. Yes, crayons have a scent. Not scented crayons. I'm just talking regular crayons. Bold and bright yellow. So the colors are probably the same, but maybe they just operate differently because construction paper is hard to color on. I don't know. But I just thought it was cool. Now I just add them to my collection. 
I'll probably use them at some point. I don't get to color much anymore, but I do have a Crayola problem. The hubby just shakes his head and laughs, okay? So there's that. But the Fiesta de Resistance from my Walmart trip last night, even with all the stuff we got, even with the cinnamon honey vanilla creamer that we got, because that sounded delicious and we had to have it. In the school supply section, I nearly screamed, very nearly. Hubby was in another, on another aisle because he's not, the, he's not into school supplies, okay, whatever. I texted him, OMG, trapper keepers, trapper freaking keepers, y'all. Oh my God. And this is the, see, look, it's a little Velcro thing, okay? And then you open it up, and inside you get the Trapper Keeper portfolios with the folders that kind of, you put stuff in sideways that when you turn them like this, stuff doesn't fall out. You turn it like this, stuff doesn't fall out. They only have like three or four designs. I decided to get the one that's kind of a cross between Back to the Future and Miami Vice. They did not appear to have anything licensed like Lisa Frank or anything, because I looked. I looked. They had one that was trying to be Lisa Frank, but it really wasn't, because um, I'm kind of obsessed with Lisa Frank stuff, too. I'm like, 80s. Apparently, I'm stuck in the 80s with some stuff. But I thought that was a cool design. And, let's see, back when these came, when these were out in the 80s, and they were the stuff, okay? Besides that, it also has a clipboard in it. Look. Oh, my gosh. They're just so stinking cool. There will be patterns in here, probably. I mean, come on. That's what I do now, right? Crochet patterns. But the Trapper Keeper. I posted, it, I posted it on Facebook from Walmart. I took a picture. I quickly edited it so it was, you know, would fit. And I uploaded it. And of course, everybody that I went to high school with was like, whoa, you know. And a friend of mine that uh, I work with, we used to work in the office together. She's like, she, got, she has a granddaughter now, so... She says, yeah, she says, I got my granddaughter a pair of jelly shoes. The granddaughter's three. Got a pair of jelly shoes for the summer. Jelly shoes, y'all. Do y'all remember jelly shoes? I remember them. I never had a pair. Over my entire middle school and high school career, I had one Trapper Keeper. One. I loved them. They were expensive. We couldn't have them. They are a little over $10 now. I didn't care. That's why I didn't buy multiple though. That's why I only bought one. I had to be okay. Pull it back. Pull it back. You don't need it at all, but you can have one. So anyway, I was stinking tickled. I'm still tickled, okay? It is the Mead Trapper Keeper. Trapper Keeper. Any of y'all who are old like me will know. And the hubby was never into it because he's like nine years older than me. So they were like, they came out like after he would have been into this kind of stuff. So yeah, but... Tickled, I tell you. Freaking tickled. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to set it down. I'm going to set it down. Because there's crochet to get to. <laughs> oh, wait. But wait, there's more. Um, I did get something in the mail this week. And I popped it open so that I could deal with it here. And I was already emailed and kind of told about this. Um, two Arctic Wolves, Christine, lives in Australia. And she won a prize. And she had it sent to me as sort of like... A belated birthday gift instead, because I, I don't know if we'll, they would send to Australia or whatever, but sending stuff to Australia gets kind of weird because a lot of times they send it back. I don't mean the people that you send it to, I mean before it gets to them. Okay, anyway, there is this. I knew it was squishy yarn. Okay. There's a card, which I will open up, but look how pretty that is. I love the colors in that. That is awesome. Classic Elite Yarns, Liberty Wool Light, 100% washable wool. Uh, says use three and a half millimeter needles, which I guess that's for knitting, but usually the, that sort of matches up usually with crochet hooks. That is, it's really soft. I mean, yeah, 100% wool, but it's that soft. But the colors, that is gorgeous. That to me is fall in a ball. Oh, I got a fuzz. It is fall in a ball. What 
color. It doesn't even say what color it is. It just says color 6652 and it gives a lot number. But it is beautiful. Made in Italy. Whoa. Pretty Italian. Now. Okay, I know I should have opened the card first, but it says Deborah on it. I'm tickled. I am so tickled. I have yarn. Yeah, I know I have yarn, but I mean, I have more yarn, right? And I have to laugh. If you got cards for me, you may have gotten one of these. <laughs> I love them. I thought they were pretty. That's why I bought them. When I buy cards and stuff to send out, I have to like them, right? I love these. I think they're so pretty and colorful. Hi, Deborah. My name is Katrina, and I have a YouTube channel, Katrina's Creations. I will be linking her up there, down there, someplace, okay? Your friend, Christine, won a giveaway and asked that I send her prize to you as a belated birthday gift. Happy birthday, Katrina. Thank you. I'm sorry this took me so long to open. I guess it's been a crazy week, but that is super cool. Love the card because, of course, I do. And this yarn... That's pretty. See, now you got me thinking, like, I want to go find more of this because I would love to have, like, a little cardi in this. Uh, not a heavy cardi, just a light cardi. Because I love cardigans. But right now, with it being so stinking hot, summertime, it's so hard to look at my thick yarns. I have two big, enormous things full of yarns that are this thick. Because remember that time, it was months ago, I found it for $1.50 a ball instead of $8. So I bought it all. All of it. All of it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Katrina. Thank you, Christine. Two Arctic Wolves. Y'all are both very, very sweet. <laughs> Alright, I did do some crocheting this week, only not enough. <sighs> oh, I worked on my uh, temperature blanket, but there's nothing really new to see. Just a lot of dark colors because it's been hot. Um, but I'll show it next week because by next week I'll have another whole row on it to crochet on. So don't worry. You will see that next week. Um, this week I did finish up the square for this iteration of hashtag rock 2022 AU being put on by Judy at Witch Piece Crafts. And this one for July 1st through the 15th was to be inspired by Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA album. The, uh, and I've been choosing to do just the album cover, not any of the songs. I pull colors from every album cover and I'm making squares. My squares at the end of the year will be put together, excuse me, <coughs> put together in a uh, stained glass sort of blanket. All of these are corner to corner and I have a bunch of them right there. This one... And I will show a picture of it side by side with the album cover. Um, pulls colors from the album cover. And finished it up finally. The picture that I shared was like the border wasn't on. And all the ends were still sticking out. But I was totally last minuteing it. Posting it to her group on Facebook. And you can also post to Instagram and stuff. Which I forget to do. Um, but yeah. It's a year-long make-along, and I've been having a blast with it because she's been pulling some really cool music. The next one is going to be Elvis, uh, the, the Christmas album thing that I think was only issued in Australia, but I can find an image of it so that I can work from it. i got to pull some colors from that album cover. There's some blue in it that's really pretty. And, yes, I have to start the next one. i got to start it early. But here's what I have so far. And at the very beginning, I was, like, tagging each one with what album cover it was from. And I stopped doing it because, quite frankly, I don't care. I just love that they're so stinking colorful. This is the one that I just did. Here's another one. Each one pulled from a different album cover and what that album cover looks like, the colors that are in it. There's a very bold one. This one has a lot of sparkle. Oh, this was the one. I remember what this one was. This was from a Kiss Destroyer. Because there's so much sparkle. There's some green sparkle that represented some of the makeup that was on there. This is going to be such a colorful, cool blanket. Look at that. Or a warm blanket, actually. It's going to be warm. Most of the yarns that I'm using are... Um, that yarn from Joanne. I know I have a ton of it. Do I have any behind me? 
I might not have anybody any behind me. It's all in my container that I pull from for this stuff. Anyway, my brain just went blank. It's their value yarn. Big twist. That's it. Big twist value. That's what most of it is. Some of it is some red heart and just random stuff that I've had in balls because it's like, oh, I need some of this color and I didn't have any, you know. There's that. This was from an Australian band that I had never heard of and I thought was very, very cool and what they stand for and everything. And I just really enjoyed making that one. Um, Dr. Hook's Greatest Hits, this one is labeled <laughs> Dr. Hook's Greatest Hits with a lot of that color on there. And there's this one which does not have a label on it. But it is a fun make along. You don't have to do big things, big squares or anything like that. First and the 15th of every month, we're getting something to, to be inspired by. There's one person that's been making bookmarks crocheting bookmarks to represent something about the albums and everything very cool very cool everybody's things are so creative and I'm having such a blast seeing everybody's projects and doing it myself being like okay gotta get my thing of yarn it's all it's all four weight yarn it's like what colors do I have what colors do I need do I have to pull from scrap balls that I have over here what do I gotta do so that's it's kind of a fun challenge for me to put stuff together like that. Anyway, I've been rambling on way too long. Oh my gosh. I have managed to eat some tomatoes off of my plants. They're all very small, but they're delicious. Um, <clears throat> you may have seen if you watched my hot taste video from this past Wednesday. <sighs> Whoa, that was some hot stuff. But then I had some of my tomatoes with some of my basil that I grew, everything I grew from seed. I'm, I'm just, I'm kind of proud about that. Even though the tomatoes are little, I cut them up, a little bit of salt on them. I had some bread with some good mayo and just kind of put those chopped up tomatoes on there with some basil and nom. And then I just took a fork and ate the rest because yeah. That is what my week has been like. What has your week been like? Is your summer crazy or is your summer more chill? I don't know what chill is like anymore. It's, it's <laughs> I've just been so busy. Oh my gosh. And I really need to shut this off. Um, and look around the room. There's so much I have to do to be able to get that monstrosity out of here, build the bed frame for that, put my chair together. I'm going to, I should, no, I'm not going to slide the box over. It's huge. And it weighs upwards of 50 pounds. Um, and there's just a lot to do. Long way to go and a short time to get there. If you know what that line is from, let me know in the comments below. Love y'all. Thanks for coming by. There'll be a little slideshow afterwards. Watch it if you like, you know, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for coming in and checking out my stuff every time. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye y'all. Mm -hmm.